fungus. Typically when I say that word, you think of stuff that grows under your toenails. It gets a bad rap as being slimy, gross, or infectious. Okay, yes, it can be all those things, but fungus is actually really cool. Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. Fungus is a group of organisms separate from all other life on Earth. It's in a weird kingdom of its own, neither plant nor animal nor bacteria. It's actually more closely related to animals than plants. It includes things like mold, yeast, and of course, mushrooms. While they may be a totally different kingdom, their existence is so intertwined with other organisms. Nearly all plants have some sort of symbiotic relationship with fungus. So it's a shame they get a lot of hate. Fungus is great. Mycologist Paul Stamets calls the underground network of fungus nature's internet. It connects lots of plants that can exchange nutrients they need. Fungus also plays vital roles in decomposition and might even be the key to saving the bees and treating disease. A recent study published in the journal Current Biology found that Brazilian bees need a type of fungus to survive. Researchers noticed a white fuzzy fungus growing in a colony. At first they thought it was invasive, but then they noticed all 30 of their hives had the same fuzz. So they did what researchers do, they did some science. In their experiments, they raised a group of bee larvae in an environment with the fungus and a group without. They found that the survival rate of those larvae with the fungus was 72%. Without, the survival rate dropped to just 8% it became clear the bees need the fungus to survive. It either provides nutrients or keeps food for the larvae from spoiling. But what's more interesting is that when bees leave the hive to start their own colony, they take part of the fungus with them. The researchers call it a kind of proto-farming. One of the researchers said given the substantial diversity of bees, many of which are poorly studied, it is likely that other bees engage in similar associations. And they aren't alone. Mycologist Paul Stamets is a man on a mission. He's determined to save as many genomes of species of fungus in the Pacific Northwest as possible. He believes that rainforests in that region may harbor mushroom species with profound medicinal properties. But with climate change and clear cutting of forests, species of fungus might be disappearing before we can ever find them, taking their medicinal secrets with them. And he also believes that fungus holds the answer to the massive bee die-off known as colony collapse disorder. If you want to learn more about the bee die-off, check out a video we did a while ago. There's a link in the description. Besides what we talk about in that video, many beekeepers find that a little parasite called the Varroa mite could be responsible. The mite carries viruses, and it's the virus that can destroy entire colonies in just a few short years. Statements, of course, thinks that fungus is the answer, that an overuse of antifungal agents used to treat crops actually damages the fungus that colonies need. Early research by Stamets and a beekeeper show evidence that fungus helps bees by attacking the things that make them sick. They found a type of fungus that usually eats up wood actually reduces viruses in the bees. And another fungus could kill the mites directly, so that's kind of awesome. But it's not just bees that fungus helps. Stamets already found several strains of fungus that could turn into life-saving medicine. After all, one of the most revolutionary drugs of all time, the antibiotic penicillin, comes from a fungus. Stamets found several strains of a fungus called agarikin that have resistance to certain illnesses like TB, smallpox, and even the flu, according to analysis by the University of Illinois Chicago's Institute for Tuberculosis Research and the University of Mississippi. So the next time you go and hate on fungus, just remember it might save your life one day. So that's just a slice of the story of fungus. If you'd like to tell your own story, you should look into getting a domain name for your own web page. No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off of domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. All right, all right, I know. I can't talk about fungus and mushrooms without mentioning magic mushrooms. Tara's got the whole story in this episode right here. A new study published in Human Brain Mapping finds that psilocybin, the active chemical in psychedelic mushrooms, is closely tied to the parts of our brains that help us dream. How do you feel about fungus now? Have I changed your opinion on it? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss a single T-News episode.